Hi everyone, my name is Sumit Kumar and uh, we are going to learn today how to load data from S3 to Redshift. Okay, so in my previous video, I have already told how to load data from S3 to Redshift using your Python code and using ETL Glue. Glue ETL. Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how to do the same thing using EMR cluster. So whenever you have to require to load work with big data, means the amount of data that is not handled by Python script, then you can go with DMR cluster. And uh, this is just to handling a huge amount of data. But here we will just uh, take the sample data, sample, sample CSV file, and uh, we load the same CSV file into a red zip using EMR cluster. In the EMR cluster, we are going to use PySpark. Okay, so what is the prerequisite here is you should have one <coughs> AWS account, S3 bucket, some data over there, and you have to create a Redshift cluster, and uh, you have to create table. If you want, want to create a table, then that's also fine, but you should have Redshift cluster that is accessible from your outside client. Means you have to enable some port and all. So what I will uh, suggest is you can go through my this two video where I have explained the same things doing using Python and uh, Glue. So in that case, if you want, uh, you can see this is my YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel. I will give the link anyway the, of this video link. So where uh, first of all, try of doing this thing, create a zip cluster and connect using Agent Pro. But nowadays I'm using uh, DV viewer. That's fine and things. It's fine. So after that, if you don't have the AWS account, you can create the AWS account and then you try doing these things. Okay. Just to launch the Redshift cluster and S3 so that your Redshift connection from outside is no problem because we, by, when we create the Redshift cluster, you have to create the user, uh, you have to create a role and that role you have to associate with Redshift. So that and all is I explained already in this uh, video. So that now I'm not going to do in this video, just here, I'm just going to create EMR cluster for you. And uh, I already have S3 and data over there and I already have it zipped. So, so if you have any problem, you can comment and you can check my previous video where I have done all those things, okay? So without wasting time, we'll uh, start, we'll, we'll log into my AWS account. I already have logged in here and we'll create EMR cluster. So, so go here and search for EMR. You can see a managed Hadoop framework. Okay, so I already have created many. So let me create one for you. I will keep this name as a, I think Spark demo. And this is S3 folder where the log will be there. And you can select this release. There are many releases here, release 6.7.7, but not from 6. Point this. But uh, let me search, take this one 5.0. Fine, anything is fine. And here we are going to use Spark 2. If you take newer, newer version of, of EMR, there you can find Spark 3. But fine, we are going to take Spark 2 where Hadoop 2.7.2 is installed and already we have Yarn, Langilla and uh, Langilla and uh, Japanese. Okay. So, and then instance type you can take based on your data size, volume. So we are just taking by default this one. And then this is uh, easy to keep pair. I already have created it to keep pair. If you, if you don't know how to create it to keep pair, you can just go there and uh, create. Okay, so I already have created it to keep pair. So I'm just taking this EMR Spark demo. This will help us to connect uh, our Hadoop cluster and EMR cluster from OT. So this is by default role. By default role already having given the access to S3. So if you need any other role, access so you can open there and you can add or you can ask your admin team to assign the role 
but uh, we are just going to use this. Okay. Once everything is done, just hit on create cluster. So it will take some time to see here it is provisioning, then it will go to bootstrap and then it will take some five to six minutes to do these things. Okay. So if you go to okay, meanwhile, I will tell you how to create the EC2 key pair. So you can go to EC2. Okay. And we go to key pair and see I have already created this one. I'm using this. So when you create key pair, give some name here and click here for PPK because I'm using putty to connect uh, the this PP camera and then just create key pair. So to create an automatically a key pair will be downloaded into your machine. Okay, that's fine. So this is how you can create key pair. So I already have Redshift cluster up and running. You can see here how to create Redshift cluster. That and all I will put into my description. But it's very easy. You can create a is to this Redshift cluster. Okay. And now I will connect this. Okay, so you can see there is a there is my recipe cluster. I have connected this using DB Weaver. So once the connection is established, everything is fine. Then you can see there are few sample tables is already given here. So what we have to load is some data. So where is my data? My data is in S3. I will show here. So go to S3. This is my S3 and this is my data. Okay, so we load this data. So this is my S3 and uh, this is my receipt. So we load that. Uh, as the data into recipe. Okay, so let's start. We'll see our recipe cluster is up or not. So you can see still it is a bootstrapping. Refresh it. Okay, cluster in waiting state and this is running. Okay, so now you can see my cluster is up and running. It is in waiting state. So we'll connect to putty. So click here and uh, it will give the instructions. You can open the here. You, can, you have to install the, all those things and then you can type host name and then go to SSH, go to auth and uh, the key pair that you have downloaded that you have to use here to connect. Okay, you can see we are able to connect this fully to our EMR cluster. So let's see our Hadoop command is working here or not. Hadoop fs minus ls the command. See, so Hadoop fs minus ls command this is working. So Hadoop is available here and then we have to see our PySpark is available or not. So PySpark. It will take some time to launch. Okay, so this is fine. So first of all, what we will do is we need to connect from here to S3. This is the command to read data from S3 and create data frame. See, this is running this warning is giving. 
it may see whether data frame has created or not and data is there or not so my df dot so okay you can see this is giving top for 20 euro this is data so what we have done is we have created yama cluster and uh, we have loaded data from s3 to this data frame okay so now we have the data in, into data frame so now this data frame if you want to some you want to do some cleaning and all you can apply your data frame uh, concept logic and uh, formula and you can you can clean all the little that you don't want this email field or some country whatever you want you can clean this data if you want cleaning is required but we have we are not going to clean and all we are just directly load this data from uh, data frame to red frame so half of our work is done so we are just pull data from s2 to data frame so now we have all data into my data frame so now the other thing is we have to push this data, data to Redshift, okay? So for that, we need to install some jars that we are going to do in our next video. So we'll continue from next video. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching.